Well, things are definitely about to get weird. And for that, I'm sorry. Welcome back, my fellow gamers. It's me, Amanda. What FNAF character, not just animatronic, do you think is the hottest one? Perhaps it's an animatronic. Probably it is. And why do you think they're the hottest? Explain yourself in the comments. Number 10, Captain Foxy. I mean, what is better than regular Foxy? Definitely a more decorated version of everyone's favorite pirate animatronic. That's right, we're talking about Captain Foxy from the Curse of the Dreadbear expansion for the FNAF virtual reality game, Help Wanted. I also really love Foxy's coat here. I feel like actually a lot of my choices for this list are gonna be based on fashion. But hey, part of what makes an animatronic or a person I think hot is their sense of style. And pirate style is already something I'm super here for. I love pirates. So the added bonus of this piratey hat and coat with epaulettes on it only heightens the appearance of Foxy here. Epaulettes, by the way, are the name for what some might see as kind of like fancy shoulder pads on coats. They're actually used to symbolize a person's rank in the military. So either Captain Foxy is higher in rank than normal Foxy, or he stole this coat from someone that was a higher rank and who was, you know, working on the seas. That's that's probably more likely because pirate, so yeah. Epaulettes, when made from metal, can also be referred to as shoulder scales, FYI. I love that term, shoulder scales. Makes you sound like you're a cool dragon. And friends, before we move on to this next spot, if you love what we do here at Top 10 Gaming and you love all of our FNAF content, why not subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything new we're putting out. I know some of you don't subscribe, so please subscribe. Do it. Number nine, Toy Freddy. I thought it was only fair that Toy Freddy got some love on this list, considering that so many of the toy animatronics were highlighted on the part one, and only one other version of Freddy made that other cut as well. I know Freddy isn't often thought of as like the hottest or even like the most favorite animatronic of the bunch, which I think is kind of sad, considering he is the main mascot, generally, of Fazbear establishments. Toy Freddy has a cute and shiny look to him. One of my favorite things about the toy animatronics in general is the shine on them and their colored cheeks. <laughs> like they're wearing blush. Toy Freddy also sports a black bow tie and top hat with a red rim, making him look quite dapper, I gotta say. Number eight, Happy Frog. I like when people are happy. Honestly, I think that can be a hot quality. Not that you can't, you know, be hot and also be sad because that also happens a lot. And I also like the color of Happy Frog's purple eyes myself. I've always liked the color purple and honestly, I actually wanted to have purple eyes myself when I was a kid, although I'm not sure if that's actually a thing you can be born with. I always dreamed like maybe Maybe my eyes will change color and I'll have purple eyes. I know there are people who have been rumored to have purple eyes and claim that they have purple eyes, but I don't think that's actually a natural color that exists genetically. But let me know if I'm wrong about that. I also acknowledge that with uh, Happy Frog's eyes technically being the color of magenta, some actually might see them as more pink than purple, but I guess that really depends on how you individually see color and you know also the color settings that are on your monitor. Happy Frog is one of the animatronics to appear in the mediocre melodies she first appeared alongside her fellow bandmates in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Number seven, Mr. Hippo. Speaking of the mediocre melodies, I don't know friends, we're getting down to the nitty gritty really with this list in terms of animatronics that I have left to talk about that one could consider as hot. So here we go with Mr. Hippo. I think for Mr. Hippo, I just really love his little hat and his purple coloring. Like I said, I really love the color purple. Also, why can't Hippo animatronics be hot? Why is that not a thing? In terms of animatronics that are falling apart or run down, the Mediocre Melodies group actually has a lot of animatronics who are in good shape by comparison to such groups as, let's say, the Nightmare animatronics. Mr. Hippo also has a flower on his chest, so that with his little black top hat, makes him look dapper. And I don't know, I like an animatronic that looks dapper. I think that's hot, looking dapper. Number six, Lolbit. Whether you are imagining Lolbit as male, female, or you know, their standard they themself, it seems that you might find them attractive. At least that's what the internet seems to be claiming. If you don't believe me on this one, just look up some attractive fan art of Lolbit. It is out there. There's a lot of it. You might be surprised or maybe not if you're already a big fan, that there is already a, just a lot of that kind of fan art out there. I find this especially surprising since while I know a lot of people do love Lolbit, which I respect, they're still considered to be a pretty minor character and in many cases are generally only shown as like 
a disembodied head, I think. But hey, maybe people just really love the coloring or are here for Lulbit's, I don't know, their glowing personality? If you're a major Lulbit fan, maybe you can enlighten us on the attractiveness of this animatronic in the comments and why you personally like them. Number five, hand unit. I don't really know what I'm doing with this list right now by including hand unit, but I guess what I find to be somewhat attractive about hand unit, if I had to pick, obviously, 10 more animatronics that are considered hot, which is, you know, yeah, what we're doing here, is that hand unit is somewhat aloof and mysterious. Also, the original voice for hand unit that we hear in Sister Location, I like it. Sometimes hand unit makes me laugh in Sister Location, and other times they make me, like, really nervous. Mainly, I like the idea of having a romance with an all-powerful AI that can control life and death. I think that's kind of a cool, albeit, you know, creepy idea. But hey, this is FNAF, so many of the things are both cool and creepy. It's a horror game. And one of the ways us FNAF fans deal with the absolute horror show of the lore and these games is by making our own headcanon about how animatronics and, by extension, disembodied AI voices, which evidently is more what I'm talking about here, could even become dear friends over time who only want to protect us. I mean, I feel like having Having hand unit on my side would be really good, I'm just saying. This is a huge part of the reason why we are so willing to accept the protective and friendly nature of Glamrock Freddy and Security Breaches players. So I think it makes sense that in my mind I'm imagining a hand unit that's like really sweet and nice and you know just wants to bring me flowers. Is there anything wrong with that? Probably, but I don't care, I want flowers. Flowers are nice. Number four, Sun and Moon, also known as the daycare attendant. Sun and Moon are both separate personas of the same character who works in the daycare at Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. For some reason, there were a lot of people in the comments requesting that Sun and Moon be highlighted as a, a hot animatronic. And apparently, this is because a lot of people really like him. And honestly, I've even seen these two sides of the same coin be shipped together as well from trying to look up fan art of them, which is like a weird concept to think about because like, aren't they the same person? So how can you ship them together? There's lots of art with them having like a baby together. And I'm just like, but how will that? Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? If you like it, it's fine. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. I think it's cool. Number three, Montgomery Gator. Montgomery Gator is a pretty muscular appearing animatronic, which I think is why some people find him to be hot. He also just has really cool sunglasses in my opinion. I used to have a pair of sunglasses very similar to his when I was a teenager, and I gotta say, I miss those sunglasses. They were super cool. I would perhaps try to become a little friendlier with Monty just for like a chance at borrowing his sunglasses. Mine were orange though, and appropriately reminded me of a very glam rock-esque band. I suppose, Kiss. Well, not straight up glam rock perhaps, but you know, definitely similar vibes. If you aren't familiar with Kiss, if that was before your time, you should definitely check them out. They are a mood for sure. And there are definitely people that I feel like would wear sunglasses like Monty does. If they haven't already, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like pictures of them with star sunglasses. Number two, Ringmaster Foxy. Ringmaster Foxy is another one that is pretty feisty. I heard everyone's clamors in the comments of the part one in this video series. How could I forget Foxy, you asked me? Oh, to be honest, I never forget Foxy. I would say Foxy and Chica to this day remain my few favorite animatronics in the game. Although I will say everybody's taken on Roxy is also making me really like take a another look at Roxy as well. Roxy maybe is really awesome. I have a little Foxy plush that was gifted to me that I cherish and I'm still waiting for a Foxy FNAF shirt to pop up in some of my favorite fandom shops so that I can rep Foxy as well with my t-shirt collection. But I guess I've always thought of Foxy, I don't know, as my bestie, not necessarily a hottie, just like my BFF for life. Although, you know, pirates can definitely be hot. But what's hotter than a piratical version of Foxy? How about his ringmaster version from Special Delivery? Honestly, the Special Delivery versions of animatronics don't get enough love on our channel. They're so creative, which is why I'm really happy to include ringmaster Foxy with his whip hand on this list. What can I say? Whips are kind of great. They're kind of awful, obviously, but also kind of great. Number one, Mermaid Chica. One of the weird things about Mermaid Chica was that I spotted her in Security Breach and then like was 
so amazed and stunned by her existence that I forgot that she also existed originally in Help Wanted. That's just how good the art in Security Breach is for her though too. In Security Breach, I think we only see her via art that appears in the world, but I'm still here for the idea of all animatronics possessing their own mermaid or merman or merperson versions, or just, you know, like aquatic versions of them in general. I really like mermaids and aquatic themes, so I'm very much here for this. Mermaid Chica initially appeared, I believe, in Help Wanted, and instead of the classic double shell, the most mermaids, such as Ariel Sport, she appears to wear one giant clam shell, I think it's a clam shell, as a top. As cute as Mermaid Chica is, I gotta say, if you think about what she is, it's pretty weird and even like a little bit creepy. Part chicken, part fish. She's kind of like a weird animal hybrid mashup, but an animatronic. Also, if you had like a real mermaid chica, how would she walk? Does she levitate? How does that work? Well, we did that. That that was a part two. That was a part two, it happened. If you somehow missed part one, be sure to check that out for even more weird hotness if that's what you're into. And if you are into that, that's fine. Don't let anyone shame you in the comments. No shaming here. And until next time, keep on gaming on. Pew pew.